Okay, so in this problem we have an inequality, and it says if 3 minus x is less than 10, then choice A, x is less than negative 7, B, x is greater than negative 7, and C, x is less than 7. So to solve this, what I would do is solve for x. And I would, of course, I, would, I could treat this a lot like I would in equality, and I would balance the equation. So I would write down that 3 minus x is less than 10. And that's what I'm dealing with. But right next to it, I might think of this in terms of an equality. I would write 3 minus x is equal to 10. These are different equations, of course, but in terms of balancing an equation, we can treat them in the same way. So here I might add x to both sides. And the reason I do that is because it gives me a positive x, right? This cancels out, and I have 10 plus x equals 3. And now I want to know what x is, so I minus 10 from both sides. And with an equality, I would get that x equals negative 7, right? These cancel out. And here, I have the same thing. I add x to both sides, right? And then I get 3 is less than 10 plus x. You can see how they're almost the same exact thing. And then I subtract 10 from both sides, right? These cancel out, and x is larger than negative 7. And that's our answer. If we go back here, that means which of these is true? Well, b is true. x is larger than negative 7. Notice they wrote it in a different order. Right? They wrote x is larger than negative 7, but these two of course are equivalent. The only time um, you can't treat an inequality exactly like you do an equality in terms of balancing equations is when you have to multiply or divide by a negative value. What I mean is if, let's say I, I wrote down that 2 minus x is greater than 10. Okay. Well, in this example, I added x first. So what if I wanted to subtract 2 first on both sides in this problem? Well, then this would cancel out, and I would get that negative x is greater than 8. Well, I don't want to know what negative x is. I want to know what positive x is, so I'd multiply both sides by negative 1. When you multiply everything by a negative value, you, res you reverse all the values, right? So positive 8 becomes negative 8 and negative x becomes positive x. And you also reverse the inequality. So instead of greater than, it becomes less than. And in that case, you have to be careful on an inequality. If you multiply or divide by a negative value, you have to flip the direction of the inequality. And in this case right here, let's solve it that way, we would do the same thing. So I could subtract 3 from both sides. This is another way of solving it. This cancels out, and I get negative x is less than 7. But I don't want to know what negative x is, I want to know what x is. So I multiply everything by negative 1, and now everything reverses, including the inequality. So x is greater than negative 7. Now, part of the logic here, if you think about it, let's say I had two numbers. Let's say 4 is greater than 3. Well, if I multiply everything by negative 1, what happens? This becomes negative 4, and this becomes negative 3, right? But is negative 4 larger than negative 3? Absolutely not. Right? If we have a number line, let's say this is 4 and this is 3. Definitely not to scale, sorry about that. But 4 is larger than 3. When you multiply it by negative values, everything reverses. And now 4 becomes the smaller number. Negative 4 is smaller than negative 3. And so the inequality, in fact, switches. So here, the answer is B. Hope that helped.